Yes, JFK Stadium kind of emptying out. People just recovering from an incredible 16 hours of live music. I think probably one of the most impressive things that uh, the Live Aid and USA for Africa projects have produced, aside from the obvious direct aid to the countries involved, one of the most impressive things that they've produced is the uncanny desire of artists to want to give of themselves so impressively. Uh, Phil Collins is a guy who has done that quite a bit today. Now, as I promised you, right here what we have is a backstage interview. I, I hope we're ready for this, Ken. Uh, a backstage interview recorded earlier from intercontinental traveler Phil Collins. I'm Alan Hunter backstage with a very busy Phil Collins who uh, probably doesn't really know where he is, so we'll remind him. It's uh, oh, backstage. No, no. Everything I do is carefully planned. Backstage JFK, that's where we are. That's right, yep. You started your morning off very early, your day off early. Like when? Well, I get, well, 9, 9.45 I woke up English time, which of course was, I don't know, four in the morning here. And um, I just got up, got the kids breakfast, and then got in the car, dropped them off at my mama's place. And um, we came, we came to uh, Wembley, and I did a few songs with Sting. I did a couple of songs, the same songs I just just then. I only know two songs, and then. Um, then How did those go? They were very good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, they were very good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, and we did a couple of songs, Sting and I, together. We did Every Breath You Take and a song from the new album, my new album. And then I came here. I got on Concord and came here. Got asked a lot of questions on the plane. But I enjoyed, I enjoyed doing it. I, I wanted to come and play with Eric because, I mean, we're neighbors, we're great buddies, and I just wanted to play. I wanted to play the drums. So I came here to play with him. I wanted to play with Robert and Jimmy, and I played with him. And I did my two songs that I know. <laughs> and uh, it was great fun. I mean, uh, you know, this is what, this is what your time is for, isn't it? To use it up doing silly things like this, really. Well, of course you know the song, so you're just uh, sort of tapping along. But, I mean, there's no rehearsal for this kind of stuff, right? Or is there? No, no I mean, Jimmy, Robert, John Paul Jones and um, Tony Thompson, they, um, they rehearsed for a couple of hours of the day, and I was supposed to have a cassette to listen to in the helicopter coming here, but that didn't materialize until I got here. So when I got here, I quickly rushed in to say hello to Eric, find out what songs he was playing, rushed over to Jimmy and Robert to see what songs they were playing, and I got a quick one, two, three, four through it, and I was told to lay off if I didn't know where I was, which I, which I laid off quite a lot. <laughs> Um, no, no rehearsal at all. These things are better not, are better not rehearsed, to be honest. You're better off just going with the flow of it. And it's the spontaneous moments that work. Well, now you're through here, and I, I understand you're off to Australia for another uh, night's yeah, work. Yeah, I'm going. So. <laughs> and then Nigeria, and then off to Germany for the... <laughs> well, we'll let you go sit down and, uh, and wipe the sweat. Thanks, Thanks so. Phil. Good luck with everything. Okay. You really do win on MTV. <laughs> you got it right that time. I'm Alan Hunter. We're at JFK Stadium. Can you believe it? <laughs> The amazing thing about Phil Collins, I asked him uh, uh, last week, would he like to play with anybody else, or why wasn't he playing with anybody else at Live Aid today? And he was kind of upset that more people didn't ask him to play along with them. Well, Live Aid is now running over 16 hours, and even that wasn't enough time to show you everything that happened. We have some terrific highlights, but first, these messages, they're earning money for Live Aid.